Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical. in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov strike. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. I can't hold me down, but it's Just okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you got to think it's going to take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away tonight. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's got to be on point. Your striking's got to be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind you cannot break in front of Mahacha because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Mahacha. Islam Mahacha. We are set for our main event of the evening. Tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Habib the Evil Mamamana. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's for Makacha! One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee right. tonight. Good. All right, so Islam Akasha that Khabib Nurmagomedov will table their brotherhood at least for the next 15 minutes or so as they get set to engage. And I think a lot of fight fans, Daniel, have wondered aloud for years which of these two fighters is better. So we get some answers. We get some answers, John, and I've seen it. I've seen these two locked inside the small cage at the American Kickboxing Academy. And it was some fun sparring session. We had to clear out the room. It was standing room only when these two were in there sparring. It was fun. But let's see tonight who can put it into action in real time. Let's see who can compete under the lights better and get their hand raised. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Arm bar set up here. Nice setup on that arm bar. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Back mount now. 
inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Islam Makasha. He passes the half. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nice positional control. Oh! We might get a stoppage here soon. Nurmago Medov's in half court. Big ground and pound. And right into side control. Great defense by the defensive fighter. 30 seconds to go. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nermago Meta. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. Saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see, it's going to take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between rounds just to get back to his feet. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach Ready. in that ground and pound seat. Good. All right, let's get to round two. did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Islam Makhachev. And there you go, again, half guard. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Got his guard passed. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Nice side that by Tim. Nermago Medov, ground and pound from half court. On to the mount. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the clock and lands a strike right on it. Khabib's back in full now. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Lands a big elbow there. Makashev's in half court. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. 
Oh, another strike lands from the top. And Mako Menops looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, gentlemen. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Safe. Round three next. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen, we probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head moving and start popping that jab. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor, it doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up Ready with. Ready fight? Ready. Here yeah. we go, third round of this championship fight. Able to block the punch there. Oh, I the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobbling to cannot take another shot like that. And back to his feet. There you go. There you go. They're so easy. Oh! Oh, well-disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Mm, that was nice. Great ground and pound by this man. Just gotta be careful here. Really smart approach by the offensive fighter, badgering that cut. More blood by the minute. If head movement wasn't important early, it's very important now because that cut has gotten a lot worse. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Nakasha getting pounded something fierce by these ground and pound hammer fists. He's got to find a way to score him out. Just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense holds up. Short uppercut here in the clinch by Nermago Meta. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Go in the third. Khabib's right back to the full mount. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing stroke. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Okay, okay, listen. Everything you're doing is working. Your rhythm is great. Keep it up. Your hands are landing all the time. I want you to keep that head moving. You ready to fight? You ready? 
Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you're getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, big left. usual suffocating work from the top here by Islam Makhachev. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nurmagomedov. Just over three minutes to go. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Massive shot from the top. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Now he's going to pull him out. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. The ground strike's starting to pile up. Under a minute to go. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting so as to really wear at your Ready. gas tank. It's Good. interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next one. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermako Medov. Another ground and pound strike lands. There it is. Now he's running up. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. 
Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Side control now. Oh, right into Mount. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Hermago Medov's back in half guard. Getting the ball here. Oh, he's got his back. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top behind her, Mago Metal. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Yep, got to be very careful there. One minute to decide this one. Great shot from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent look at him. He set up a choke now. Look at him. He set it up. What a fight! Twenty-five minutes turned in. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. To play the winner by unanimous decision. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Nirvana Meta. All right, so Khabib Nurmagomedov, your winner by decision. Competitive fight at times, but laid, of course, your former teammate pulled away and, again, left no stone unturned in preparation and gets the desired result. He's one of those guys that...